हेलो गाइस इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोन ट्रैक कैलेंडली बुकिंग शेड्यूल इवेंट विद द हेल्प ऑफ जी एंड वी आर गोइंग टू ट्रैक दिस इवेंट ऑन गूगल एनालिटिक्स फॉर अकाउंट एंड गाइस दिस मेथड विल वर्क फॉर ऑल अकाउंट एंड यू डोंट नीड टू अपग्रेड योर कैलेंडली अकाउंट एंड वी हैव वन अदर वे टू ट्रैक दिस इवेंट लाइक वी कैन इंट्रीगेट आर गूगल एनालिटिक्स अकाउंट ऑन द कैलेंडली account we can integrate our google analytics id but here we need to upgrade our calendly account but this method is work out for all accounts even for the free accounts you can track these event on your google analytics for account so let's see how it is work first of all make sure your google analytics for id is already configured on google tag manager and you already set up your google tag manager account and your account is live now let's see how the execution will work and here you can see the booking schedule page so first of all we need to integrate these page on our website so go to your calendly account and click on the click on this gear icon and click to the add to website and click on this inline embedded click on continue and now copy this code so guys that's how you can integrate your calendly booking page on your web pages so let's see now how we can track we are going to use the same event listener code that we used previously to track the phone call number tracking and the wp form submission and the contact form 7 so now let's go back to the google tag manager account again and click on the new button and select custom html and now we need to copy this exact same code and guys here you need to replace this url and copy your booking page url and replace this and select all pages and save this snippet of code now guys click on the preview mode and let's see if i click to this event you can see here all of these event like view event select event and the schedule event so that's how you can so here you can see all of these event now we can create all of these event and push data to our google analytics for account and it is very easy so now let's go back again google tag manager account and click on again the new button and select ga4 event select configuration id event name ca view select triggering condition click on the plus icon and select custom event
now guys copy this event name and paste it on here and select use rejects matching and and save now we need to set up one more event for calendly select date and time and now go back to the tag manager account again and click on the new button and select ga4 event and select ga4 configuration id and our event name ca date and time and select triggering condition click on again this plus button and select custom event and our event name select date and time copy this exactly and click on use rejects matching and our event condition click on save and save this now we need to set up one more event this is the last event for event schedule so now click on again the new button and select ga4 event configuration id and our event name ca booking schedule and select triggering condition click on again plus button and select custom event and our event name this time event dot schedule use rejects matching click on this and now click on save now let's see on the preview mode click on the preview button and here you can see our GA4 deck firing successfully you can see here view deck select date and time tag and the last one booking schedule tag now we can publish this tag click on the submit button and publish now guys let's see these event recorded successfully or not now click on this free consulting call click on select the date and time and enter any detail any random detail and click on schedule now let me go back to the google analytics account and uh, if i see on the now if i click to the real time now go back to your google analytics account and click on the real time and if i here you can see the event count by event name here you can find all of these event information like calendly view calendly date and time and calendly booking schedule and if i click to any of these event 
you can find some additional information additional parameters detail and guys if you set up these events within calendly account on the integration tab then you can't find all of these details so if you follow this method you can capture a lot more detail and this method is work for even for the free account and this is the best part for this video and guys if you have any question any doubt then you can comment down below i'll try to resolve your query soon as possible and guys that's it for this video i will see you soon goodbye